This intermission is powered by TD Bank, the official bank of the Boston Bruins. Newton's first law of motion, an object at rest will stay at rest. And an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an external force. A great example of this is if a player were to pass a puck, it would be stationary before he would make the action of passing. A puck won't move unless I go up and stick handle it or, or move it. Before he passes, it's not moving, and then after he passes, it's moving in motion. Oh, look at that release. <laughs> Turn over. <laughs> <clears throat> true or false? That oh, that's me, yeah. That's me in the picture. Uh, true or false? It takes two inches of flex to break a stick. So false. False. Yeah. yeah. You can whip that thing to the ground. Yeah. Flex is really important because that's how, especially in a slap shot, you're generating that energy before the stick hits the puck. What you want to do is you want to flex so that you can actually get that energy built up in the stick. And when it comes across and releases from the ice, you're able to get that energy into the puck and the puck traveling as fast as possible. But Dr. Patrick, when is the true breaking point? Well, we don't know until we actually run that test. So if you can grab another stick, we'll load it in here and we'll see how much it takes to displace it. They got the old uh, Easton. This doesn't count. If, if we can reach the breaking point. All right, let's get to the fun Bar. stuff. There's an Easton right there, though. So we are at an inch and a half of displacement. We have 330 pounds of load on this. <laughs> it's an old one. That's not accurate. No, that's, that's an old accurate. one, the new, the new Bowers. Yeah. <clears throat> when you were a kid Lots and you needed a days. new stick and you'd yeah. whip it down to the ground. Yeah. That's you're trying to break right. it. Yeah. These guys don't know what they're Your talking about. Your buddy's sitting on it for you. Yeah, they don't know what they're talking about here. <laughs> True or false, a puck can deform when it hits a hard surface. Uh, yeah, it's like does it count? break. Like, yeah. Does that mean deform? Some pucks break in half. Yeah. Does it mean just so like times. warp? Breaking is deforming, right? Yeah. I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah true. Yeah. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to load up the puck into this carrier. It's often called a sabot, and that's going to allow us to get the air behind the puck without the air blowing by the puck. It sits in there in a vertical position, and then we carefully load it into the cannon, close the cannon barrel up. We've got our high-speed camera set up here. We've got the air cannon ready to go. We're gonna get air into that system, and then we're gonna fire the shot. Firing. Yeah, see, that's why I didn't know if they were meaning it. Yeah. That puck looks perfectly fine, but... But it's true. No, but it was like, we'll take it. Take it and with it. Hi, it's Nikita here. Um, I started my life journey in Russia and Moscow. I grew up there. Um, I was there until 16 years old, then I moved to Canada. I lived two years in London, Ontario. Played junior there for the greatest organization in uh, junior hockey in Canada. Got drafted by Buffalo Sabres, uh, spent a couple years over there, then moved to Denver and uh, been there for uh, six years, made a lot of friends, good teammates and everything, had fun, enjoyed it. Then I had a, a quick trip to Chicago during COVID, it didn't last long, got traded <laughs> to Calgary, spent there uh, two and a half seasons there and then last year I finished my year in Vancouver and on this free agency was super likely to join such a wonderful organization as the Boston Bruins and now I'm a proud Bruin. Here I come. I remember getting getting a gift, the first hockey bag that I could take my stuff in and that's something that I remember uh, getting it for Christmas and I was trying to sleep in it for a couple couple of weeks so that was that was a lot of fun. <laughs> 